In our study, which is called Relative Strangers, we're looking at the experiences of parents and grandparents of assisted reproduction and donor conception. We felt in this study that it was really important not to exclude grandparents because so few studies have considered the significance of their role in supporting and assisting and generally being helpful to their adult children who are going through sometimes a very traumatic and difficult process. So grandparents often are told what is essentially secret information. They're not allowed to tell anybody else. And we became very interested in what it meant for grandparents to hold this kind of information whilst going through stressful and very disappointing times alongside their grown-up children. We heard stories where grandparents might have a daughter who was having great difficulty in conceiving, who was becoming quite depressed and anxious about the whole thing. But they had another daughter who was able to conceive very easily and suddenly they found themselves in a terrible situation. They were unable to celebrate fully the pregnancy of one daughter because they knew how much it was breaking the heart of their other daughter. One of the iron rules of grandparenting that we uncovered was the idea that grandparents must never interfere. Grandparents were absolutely adamant, almost you know, to 100%, that it was not their job to interfere, that their adult children had their own lives to lead, they were merely there for support. And it would seem that that is exactly what most of them did, but that doesn't mean it was necessarily always easy for them. Some grandparents didn't necessarily agree with the ethics, for example, of harvesting eggs and freezing embryos, but they had to keep that to themselves. So there could sometimes be implicit conflicts of ethics going on. In another area too we found that some grandparents felt that children born from donor conception shouldn't be told about the fact they were born in a different way. But On the other hand we found grandparents who felt it was really important that these donor conceived grandchildren should be told and were worried that the parents didn't look as if they were going to tell them. And so again you have those kinds of conflicts but these grandparents couldn't necessarily discuss these views with anybody because, of course, of the confidentiality of this information and also because they also knew they couldn't interfere with the decisions that their adult children were making. One other area, too, that could cause concern was about genetic inheritance. One of the things that we found is that not everybody understands about genes and how genes operate. It's a hugely complex area, so this is hardly surprising. But sometimes grandparents would be very worried about the importation of different genes from somewhere else into their family, whilst yet other grandparents really didn't give that much thought. But we did also found that even though some grandparents were quite worried about that, there seemed to be yet another kind of quite strong rule that influenced grandparents, which is to say they seemed to feel quite universally that love came with the baby. In other words, once a grandchild is born, that's all that matters. And they strove to ensure that that grandchild would be treated just like any other grandchild and valued in exactly the same way. So finally, this brief overview of our interviews with grandparents showed what a really important role they were playing. Having seen that, it seems quite surprising that we overlook the role of grandparents when it comes to assisted reproduction and donor conception. They're somehow pushed right into the background, even though their support can be so vital. Given this, we wonder whether it isn't time to start thinking about the sort of support that grandparents might need. I think grandparents feel they could do with some neutral support. They can't, after all, speak to their own siblings, their own brothers and sisters. They can't talk to their best friends about what they're going through while supporting their own children. So maybe neutral support from some other source would be helpful to grandparents. The other thing is, too, that their information about what's going on is often second-hand. They're confused about genetic inheritance. They may be confused about what treatments are actually about. 
and they could really do with some factual information about some of these things, but they tend not to be included in those discussions. And so we felt ultimately it might be time for clinics and other support groups to start thinking about grandparents and maybe including them when they think about the kinds of provision that needs to be um, provided to families going through assisted reproduction.